Hey, it's Nurse C, Blushed RN, and I have a video explaining how to solve IV drops per minute problems using dimensional analysis. So this involves solving the flow rate for a IV that is given via gravity. So with any IV problem, we're going to be looking for volume over time. And this one also includes the drop factor. Let's look. An antibiotic is supplied as a premixed IV of 100 mLs at lactated ringers. To infuse the medication over 45 minutes, what would be the drop per minute flow rate with 10 drop per milliliter tubing? Okay, so using the puzzle piece method, we're going to find that picture on the puzzle box. That's our goal. So what are we looking for? Drops on the top and minutes on the bottom. That is what the question is asking us to find. So now we will look for our puzzle pieces. So remember with volume, we're looking for the amount to go into the patient over the time that it takes to infuse into the patient's veins okay so 100 milliliters is to go over 45 minutes they go together and they stay together on a puzzle piece and then we have the drop factor which is 10 drops per milliliter it goes on a puzzle piece so if i'm looking for drops on the top like my goal says i'm going to start with the puzzle piece with drops i'm going to make sure my drops are on the top we can only use one puzzle piece once and so that's done now i've got milliliter on the bottom i'm going to use my other puzzle piece that has milliliter on it well, in it, sorry. And then we're going to put the milliliters on the top. They cross out and now we have drops at the top and minutes at the bottom. We'll multiply across the top and we'll multiply across the bottom and divide the top by the bottom. So 10 times 100 is going to be 1,000 and 41 times 1 is 45. We'll divide 1,000 by 45 and then we'll get the answer. And with the drops per minute, once you want to round to the nearest whole number because you can't divide a drop. So 22.2 to the whole number would be 22 drops per minute. Let's look at another example. A client is receiving 1,000 mLs D5 normal saline with 20 milli equivalents of KCL, which is potassium chloride at 100 mLs per hour. There is no pump available. So the nurse puts the IV on gravity flow using 15 drops per milliliter tubing. What is the drop per minute flow rate? So once again, our goal is drops on the top, minutes on the bottom. So our puzzle pieces need to be volume over time. So we've got several things in here, right? But don't we see that we already have a piece that has volume and time together? So we're not looking for milli equivalent and we don't need to know the total amount of runtime for the total bag, which is that 1000 milliliters. So we'll use our rate, 100 milliliters per hour. Time, on the bottom, volume on the top. And then we have our drop factor, which is 15 drops per milliliter. If I'm looking for drops on the top, I start with my 15 drops on the top and put it over milliliter. Now I have 100 mLs on the top and hour at the bottom. My milliliters cross out and I've got to get rid of that hour on the bottom because I need minutes. I've already got my drops on the top. So I'll insert a conversion of time. So one hour is going to equal 60 minutes. So my hour goes out on the top. My 60s, 60 minutes goes down on the bottom and then we are across the hours out and everything is now gone except for drops at the top and minutes at the bottom. So we'll multiply our numbers across the top. So 15 times 100 times 1 is 1500. 60 times 1 times 1 is 60. We'll divide the top by the bottom and then we will get the answer, which is 25 drops per minute. One last example to see another way it could be worded. The patient has vancomycin 1,250 milligrams ordered once daily for an infection. The vancomycin is available in 500 milliliters of normal saline and should infuse over two hours. Using tubing with a 10 drop per milliliter drop factor, how many drops per minute should the vancomycin be infused? So once again, our goal is to find drops on the top, and minutes on the bottom. Is this asking us for gram, milligram, microgram? No, it is not. So that ordered amount in milligrams is fluff. Fluff is extra information that's important as an order, but not going to help you solve the dosage calculation problem. So our volume is 500 mLs over two hours to be infused. Our drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. So now I'm um, starting with my drops on the top, my, putting my minutes on the bottom. So I'll start with the puzzle piece that has drops in it. 
10 drops over milliliter. Now I've got to cross out my milliliters, so I need those to go on the top. 500 milliliters over two hours. And then I've got to get minutes on the bottom. I've crossed my milliliters out as I go and I see what's left. So one last conversion to get my minutes at the bottom. So one hour at the top over 60 minutes. And everything has now crossed out except for drops on the top and minutes on the bottom. Our goal is met. So we'll do 5,000 divided by 120 because we multiplied across the top and across the bottom and then you divide the top by the bottom and we will get our answer as 41.6 repeating and remember we have to round to the nearest whole number because you can't divide a drip 42 drops per minute okay cookies and puzzles like, subscribe, and share if this video has helped you join my live sessions and let's defeat dosage. Be blessed.